the best terrain park by far what was the third one. Was the third one, which was Buttermilk Park. And it was so long. Like, it went, like, on. Like, we thought... So, we came to intersections between trails, and we were like, oh, that's the end of the park. And then we go over, and we just see jumps after jumps. Rails, more rails. And it just keeps going. This, we get, like, halfway down the mountain. This three-mile terrain park. Yeah. I'm like, holy crap, We got bro. to the bottom, and we were like, dude, that terrain park was so long. <coughs> Some guy came up to us, and we were like, did you guys just ride the buttermilk terrain park? And we, was like, and we were like, yeah. And he was like... Yeah, that terrain park is about three miles long. And I was like, holy crap. It was the best terrain park I've ever been on. Yeah, and I uh, I was a little scared at first to hit the ramp that was at yeah. the end. And then, like, these kids came up on us. They were like, yo, you gonna hit that ramp, bro? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna hit it. So I freaking started smoking down the hill at this ramp. I freaking get on top of this thing, launch up in the air. I'm like, holy, this is higher than I expected. Yeah. And, like, I freaking launched. I landed about midway down the landing. And Scared these the kids out of me. these kids weren't even our age. Like, we're, we're 16. These kids were, like, 8. And they were flying. We got to the mega jumps in the X Games course. And these eight-year-old kids were smashing these monster kickers. Like, mm -mm. if you guys have watched the X Games... No, they didn't hit the kickers. They hit the backsides of them. If you guys really? watch the X Games, these kickers are like 40 feet tall. They're huge kickers. The landing was about freaking six. And the landing is so huge. Like, and these kids who are like eight-year-olds are just hitting these. Like, no tomorrow. Well, just, it's it's because they shoot. ride freaking Colorado every day. Yeah, but it it was just insane sight, bro. We got we we got to the top of the <coughs> hill and it was perfect, like perfect. It was the best I like views I have ever seen. I cannot wait for tomorrow when we go to Aspen. Oh yeah, that's gonna the be, Aspen Mountain. That's gonna be lit, because bro. Aspen Mountain Gondola has baby. a higher elevation than Buttermilk, so we get to ride the gondolas. That's gonna be pretty cool. We're we're pretty much at the top of the world tomorrow. No, snow masses. Uh, if we go to and, snow mass, and then when we go to snow mass, that's even the, higher than Aspen. Fifteen thousand feet vertical. Yeah, snow it, mass. Highest it's peak. like 14,808 or something like that. It is insane. It's like it's like one of the highest peaks in Colorado, I think. That's that's like rideable. Oh my god. That's the highest peak in Colorado that is a skiable lift able to get up on the lift. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. So we will work on those videos. We will take some more footage tomorrow. We got everything charging. My laptop. Everything's charging for my me downstairs. Phones. Everything is charging. Um, I'm so doing a new hat tomorrow. We will pack day. our bags tomorrow morning because we, it oh, didn't no. take us long to pack whatsoever. We mm -hmm. thought, oh, we have to pack this and that. When really, we didn't really have to pack anything. And everything that's packed now... Yeah, we we'll didn't ride with face masks there. and look at my face. Yeah, we didn't ride with face I masks. I got some nasty we windburn. We got some nasty windburn, but it was worth it. I Oh, yeah. If we, if <coughs> we had our face mask on, we would have been sweating to death. Like, yeah. it was so warm today. It got to 46 degrees, yeah. guys. 46. It was like 46 degrees at 10 o'clock and it got warmer. It was like 50 at one point. We're doing our YouTube video. Yeah. Say hi. Did he come out alright? Um, this one we're recording right now. Oh, you are? Yeah. Hi. Good night. I'm going to bed. Okay, good night. Is it okay if we use that computer out there?
Yeah, if you know how to use it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, sweet. All right. Thank you. So we got permission to use that computer out there, so we will be cranking out on videos. It is currently 9-11. You freaking kidding me, Chris? You shut this comeback. Bro. Okay, it's 9 Bro, we ain't gonna die today. 9-12. It's 9-12. See, right, right there. Nine nine twelve. Hey, it's not nine eleven. It's nine twelve. Chris, I don't care. It's nine twelve. Hey guys, and we are going to crank out videos as much as possible tonight. Um, you wanna know what I'm gonna do? So we'll get those up for you. Yeah, we'll be jamming out to music, doing whatever. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a long night once again, but. So, in New York, it is currently 9, 10, 11, 12. 11, 12 in New York. So, that's great. But, we need to get used to this time. So, we'll probably stay up till about 11 in Colorado time. Last night? Uh, yeah, last night. We, we didn't spent... get out to bed till like, 1 o'clock. Yeah. And, and I didn't feel too hot after I ate my uh, cold cut sandwich. And yeah. I was in the bathroom for about an hour. Yeah. And I ended up taking. shitting up. A I ended up taking a shower last night because I felt like a scumbag. Yeah. And uh, it was like two thirty when I hopped the shower, and I ended up going to bed at like four, and Hunter was out cold at one. Yeah. And then we woke up at seven. Yeah. So I'm running off of no sleep. So I took a good nap when we were uh, lost. Yeah, Chris fell asleep on the bus. So I was like, "There's no way I'm falling asleep again on this bus and missing our stop." Like, yeah, you fell no asleep. Way. I fell asleep. We, we both missed our stop. That's like the only thing that we can <laughs> figure out right now is because like he said that we did stop there, and we we're like, we no. must have like both fallen no. asleep at the same. That's time. not how it worked because I watched us pass the freaking place. I'm like, wait, our stop didn't come up. Yeah, and he, he goes, he goes, no, no, we stopped. Like, no, no, we didn't. Yeah, yeah. You're a freaking jack wagon, bro. He, he was insisting that we stopped. So and I guess like, we must have, like, it. falling asleep on the bus. But, like, we were whooped after today. Like, my legs still, like, feel like jello. So hopefully tonight they'll rest. Right now, I'm sitting down, so that's pretty good. It feels good on him. The mountain really takes a toll on him, especially Runner's Edge. Like, we went on Runner's Edge, which is a black diamond, and it was, it was, it was brutal. The ice was... Legit, like, we thought, oh, it's going to be all fresh powder because no one's over there and it hasn't been groomed. It was ice. Like, straight ice and, like, just this hard, compact snow. It felt like we were boarding on rocks. It was so bad. My skis were going about two feet apart. Yeah, Chris was just bouncing on his skis. I, I like, was bouncing on my board. Like, I had to pretty much go heel side all the way down because, like, I couldn't go toe side or, like, straight mm -hmm. because I would just, like, hit a bump and fly. So, like, I did, like, so my knees were, like, trashed after that run. So then we decided to go to the other side of the mountain where, like, everyone else has been skiing all day. And since, and since it was so warm and everyone was skiing on it, it was, it was pretty soft. So it felt good to go down that. And that's when we just called it a day because we were both whooped. We started at about 8 o'clock in the morning. We ended at about 4, 3.30, 4 o'clock. So it was a good day of skiing. It was a great day. We had a lot of fun. So we'll post the videos of all that. Make sure tomorrow you stay tuned on my Facebook, Chris Holbrook. Yeah, Chris will probably we go are live going again. live. He has a live video of us on the, on the pipe. So oh, crap. make sure to go check yeah, on I that. Yeah, I did record it on the pipe. Yeah, he has a video on the pipe. <laughs> Granted, it's not too good of a video because Chris, Chris, Chris just held his phone straight down most of the ride, mm -hmm. but he got he got parts of it. 
So you'll be able to see it. Yeah, and it was um, it was cut now because of the internet. I'll right upload some pictures of it probably I, tomorrow. I've got pictures because on my iPhone. that's mm. where my grandma is dropping us off every day. Now we're gonna go straight to Buttermilk because that's the easiest way. And then take a bus. To and the then take mountains. a bus to the different mountains. So we'll I've be going from too. Buttermilk to Aspen, and the best part about Aspen is it's. It is right there. It's in the town. So it's can, in the town, and it's great. We can go get food. Yeah, so we can. Okay. Go get food. Okay, in the town I got and a stuff. story real quick. I went to New York Pizza, and literally, I ordered one slice of pizza, and this sucker was like, "That's freaking big," and I ordered two of them. Four dollars a freaking slice of pizza, bro. It's a New York slice, Chris. Have you ever had an actual New York slice of pizza? Hell no. In like New York City, they're huge. They're freaking huge. I'll tell you what though, that guy. That in there, was a New York slice. That guy in there was pretty cool, man. And then and then the table next to us shooting them jokes. And oh things yeah. Hilarious. There was just this table of girls right next to us shooting us shooting jokes. I was they, like, they were looking up dude, the corniest jokes, and we're yeah, sitting there dying. We're sitting there dying, laughing, like, oh, my God. And Chris decided, oh, you know what? I'm going to demolish both slices of my pizza. He demolished them. Like, he got them. And they, I was like, <coughs> dude, that's going to take you, like, 20 minutes just to eat one slice. That was Next thing about I know, two minutes. Like, I'm looking, I look down at my phone. I get my phone out of my bag. I look back at him. And he's halfway done with a slice. I open up iPhone and go through all the features. And then I look back at him. He's halfway through a second slice. I'm like, holy crap. I don't want to tell him to, like, slow down or, like, stop. Because, like, I wanted to sit there and keep listening to the jokes. It was Comedy Central over there. I was laughing Hunter was, so hard. Hunter was checking out the babe. He <laughs> wants a snow babe. <laughs> Whatever, Chris. Whatever, bro. Yeah, I got it. It was just a table. Of, it was just a table of girls cracking some insane. I jokes. I got a girlfriend, and I'm proud of it, bro. They were they were some insane jokes. Like they were hilarious. <coughs> um, and Chris, and Chris just decided to demolish his pizza and get the hell out of there. And I was like, because I didn't, I and know. I didn't want to like yell at Chris. Like, dude, sit down. I'm listening to them. Like, they would have heard me. Like. They were literally from like yeah, that, my back. My was, ba my shoulder was touching this girl's shoulder. We were like this, I pretty like much this. to the girls. Yeah, <laughs> they, we were back to back with them because it was this tiny little restaurant. Like, if you guys ever go to Aspen, everything is just like cram packed. Yeah, like literally, their, we will. Their town is the size of like their town. Is the size of Danzel School. Like that's no, how small their the their town, town is. is like the size of Dansville, with everything that's in New York City crammed into it. It's not even close to the size of Danzville. It's like it's like the size of a freaking little Perkinsville. Yeah, it's a it's a small town, but it has a lot to it. Yeah, like it everywhere is. you go, you see. There's snowboarding racks and ski racks all over. It yeah. there's go Man, snowboarding shops the and stuff all and over. Left our skis and snowboarding. Yeah, we there. got to the bus station. We saw the sign under twenty four twenty four hour twenty four seven surveillance, and we were like, you know what? We can leave our skis here and stuff. So we left our skis there as we walked around the town, and there's just these ski racks. Everywhere, and you got people carrying skis and yeah, you with got boots walking. Yeah, around. you got you got people walking in their boots with their skis over their shoulders, like walking around. Me and Chris almost got smacked in the face by some girl who was like, "Dude, this girl is yo, me, like, she, bro." Yeah, she was walking through, and then she just turned with her skis real quick. She almost took us out. We were like, "Crap, our our." <laughs> Our life flashed before our eyes at that point. It was, it was pretty good. Oh but, yeah, we're gonna have to end it soon. So yeah, we're gonna have to end this. We've hit the thirty minute mark already. I don't know how. I bet we could just go on and on and on, blabbing and blabbing. But we have to go upload this video somehow. 
So, tomorrow, we're going to Aspen. We're going to ride the gondola. That's going to be sick. We're going to upload more videos tomorrow. We're going to try to finish uploading our videos tonight. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.